Hello, welcome. This is Tech Avenger TV. My name is Alex, and we are continuing our series on launchers, and today we are going to review the Nova Launcher. In my opinion, probably one of the best launchers there are. It looks and feels close to stock uh, Android, uh, but it has a lot of extra features. So let's see what it's got. Um, you go to the Play Store, and this is it. You just you can just type in Nova N O V A, and you will get to this point. Click on the Nova Launcher. There's also a paid version which has extra features, but uh, in this uh, case, we're just going to use the free one. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. And there we go. Let's see here. It should be done in just a minute. Okay, let's go to home screen. Now, it, it, I just hit the home button. It's asking me, do I want uh, to use TouchWiz or Nova Launcher? So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and say to use uh, TouchWiz just because I'm not sure if your guys' uh, phones are going to do that right off the bat. Generally, I think it creates an icon and then you just click on it like this. So I'm going to do it that route. So here we go. We're in the Nova Launcher. And uh, as usual, you can save uh, or change your wallpaper to whatever you would like pretty much. Um, we'll use this one right here. There we go. Okay. So you can see it looks fairly... Um, actually, this went back to TouchWiz. There we go. Let's see if it's going to keep doing that. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to have to go into my settings in case you guys run into this and it keeps trying to go back to your stock uh, launcher. Let's go to Applications, Default Applications. And in this case, let's see, home screen, and I'm going to select Nova Launcher so that it will automatically stay on Nova Launcher. Okay, so as you can see, it feels and looks very stock, um, like stock Android, like it would on a Nexus or, um, you know, I guess Google's now going to call it the Pixel. So uh, their, their devices, they're getting away from the Nexus name and going with Pixel. So let's see here. It's going to, let's see, let's look at the app drawer. And uh, as you can see, it looks very much like a stock Net Nexus, pretty much like the uh, uh, Google Now launcher, uh, which is basically what I call the Nexus launcher, or I guess now would be the Pixel launcher. Um, it, it looks, and if you tap the right of the screen and scroll up and down, it gives you the alphabetical uh, order. Uh, looks very stock. Um, like I said, um, scroll down from the top, you get your notifications, which are pretty much this is TouchWiz. Uh, it doesn't change that. But here's where the cool stuff happens. Let's click on the home screen, hold, and uh, you go to settings. And here's where the magic happens of the Nova Launcher. You've got all these different settings. Oops, let's go back to that. Um, let's go to desktop, um, grid size. As you can see, you can change it to have smaller but more icons. Um, looks like, wow, you can go way up there. So uh, we'll select that. Um, that's a 7 by 5 desktop grid uh, icon layout as you can see there's stuff to uh, I guess this is the size so you can change the size of the writing on the the icons uh, color you can change that the color of the writing so uh, I'm gonna go with a eh, we'll go with this one kind of like a teal um, Shadow, you can select yes, no. So, as you can see, and then there's also, um, uh, that was, you can get Prime, which is what it is to pay for the, uh, premium version. Uh, width, paddling, so you can go small, 
uh, height paddling, small, uh, or it's, I guess it's padding, not paddling, excuse me. Uh, let's see, so as you can see, there's just a lot of stuff. Wallpaper scrolling, um, that's looks like it's default to on, which is where I would want it. Um, no, no, no. So, yeah, all sorts of stuff. I'm not even 100% sure what all uh, these do. Widget overlap, um, dock, or lock desktop, shadow. So, I mean, as you can see, there's a lot here. Um, it's something you guys would have to play with and get uh, more familiar with. But um, here's your dock. Um, so you can uh, change all this stuff up uh, I guess let's say rectangle rounded transparency okay um, so yeah the advanced has some uh, interesting stuff um, so yeah and then uh, doc folders uh, you can customize these background color and transparency um, icon layout uh, which you know I mean there's just so much uh, you can do and that's one of the neat features of this uh, launcher is that you get so much you can do um, yet it stays very stock in look and as you can see the icons are smaller now um, and I can move those around I believe Okay, and then this one to bring down. Well, I don't know why. I guess you have to line it up right in the middle of those things. Or you just have to go one at a time, I guess. I don't know. So, uh, let's see if I can change the width, of the resize. So this, when you add, change the grid size, it will affect that. And you can just hit resize change that as you can see you can set up a uh, a widget for email which is uh, standard uh, for this and I am sure you can remove it let's see go up here um, remove there we go so uh, there's just um, a lot you can do it puts the uh, icons sort of like stock Android in these little uh, folders um, a lot of the, uh, in this case, the Google apps. And uh, this is more Google apps, like the music and stuff, the Play Store. Uh, but it uh, feels really nice. Um, I actually like it. I'd say so far out of the ones we've reviewed, I've got to say this is my favorite. Uh, just mainly because of all the customization. And you guys know I really do like uh, the stock Android feel. So... I feel like at this point, with all the launchers I've reviewed, this is my favorite. Uh, and uh, you guys can uh, play with it and see for yourself uh, how you uh, guys like it. Of course, also I want to mention the widgets. There's plenty of widgets to choose from. You can download more on the Play Store. Uh, but it's uh, it's um, there's also a little... Let's see, if you go over here, you can make any of these your home screen. Uh, like, this is the home screen now. You can see the little home button on the top there. If I go to the next page and I select that, and then I hit the home button, should... Yeah, there, I hit the home button, and it made the second page my uh, home page. And then I'm going to go back to the one that I want home page, which is right there and it will make that my home page so uh, anyway really cool neat stuff um, I might uh, end up reviewing the uh, prime version of this that's the paid version and uh, see what the differences are and uh, and see uh, show you guys some of those extra features uh, but for now, um, this is Alex with Tech Avenger TV. Please like and subscribe uh, to see more videos and to be one of the first to view the videos. Uh, we do appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Alex out.